today. Um, if you are new to our channel, welcome. And if you're just tuning in again, hello again. Introductions done. Um, if you don't know us, um, we are Charlotte and Kim. I am Kim, and I have a twenty. I am Kim, yes, and I have a twenty-seven-month called Theo. Um, and we are mums of boys from Surrey, and we are just vlogging and blogging and sharing anything we really want to with you. Uh, so we've been making some toddler meals. Um, we try and batch cook and then pop them in the freezer. So if we have a day where we can't really be bothered to cook, we can just take it out of the freezer and heat it up. Um, so we thought we'd share with you um, what we've been making. So I'm going to link the recipe below. And um, yes, please enjoy. If Please, please enjoy. If you like if you like what I'm cooking, please subscribe. And um, if not, then sorry, I'm not the best cook. I try. I'm a trier. Take it away. No, I'll take it away. If you um, enjoy the vlog, please subscribe. Um, and yes, thank you for watching. I'm going to prepare the vegetables for this meal. I used um, an onion, sweet potato and carrot. I've also heated up half a tablespoon of olive oil in a frying pan over high heat whilst I prepare the veg. I will then add the beef, mince and onion and stir fry for about 3 to 4 minutes. Then add 1.5 tablespoons of Thai red curry paste. You can also use tomato paste. I'll then add 100 grams of coconut cream and continue to stir fry for another couple of minutes. Then add in the sweet potato and any other veg that you might be using. Then pour in about 400 ml of either chicken or vegetable stock and bring to a boil for about six to eight minutes over high heat. Then add the kale and coriander and cook for a few more minutes until the sweet potato is tender. Then remove from the heat. Serve into a bowl and stir in lime juice and top with sprigs of coriander. For the cottage pie I'll be preparing the vegetables, peeling and chopping carrots and potatoes. I'll put some oil in a frying pan over a high heat and then add the vegetables. Meanwhile, allow the potatoes to boil in some water. Once the vegetables start to soften, I'll then add in some minced beef. Continue to cook for a few more minutes. Then 
add a teaspoon of garlic and some salt and pepper to taste. We add in a splash of Worcester sauce and 200ml of either beef or vegetable stock. Continue stirring until all the meat and vegetables are cooked. Once the potatoes are cooked, mash and season to taste. Finally, add any other ingredients. We've added some frozen peas and some spinach just to try and get as many vegetables in the dish as we possibly can. Once cooked, serve into an oven proof dish and top with the mashed potato and we've just sprinkled a little bit of cheddar cheese on top. Then place into a heated oven and cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. Once both dishes are cooled, separate into individual Tupperware boxes. We like to do it per portion um, that Theo will have. And then I will label or write on the Tupperware boxes exactly what each dish is. We then store them in the freezer and take them out as and when we need them.